So over the weekend, I built this solar power system and the total cost is $3,620. And the system has a split phase 10,000 watt inverter. It can handle 10,000 watts of solar and the battery is 16 kilowatt hours. The only thing we're missing are the solar panels, but you can buy those for super cheap, especially if you get used panels. The most expensive part of mounting the solar panels is the mounts themselves. So if you just put them on the ground and you build a system like this, you can run a house for really, really cheap. It's ridiculous if you think about it. A lot of people are spending 70 or $80,000 for systems and you can build one for under $5,000 with solar panels. This is the cost of a solar generator but this is way more capable. The 10,000 watt input is insane. My entire solar carport in my backyard, you can run that whole thing through this. The hardest part is mounting the solar panels. Also, a lot of people are not gonna be using this, but we also have outlet boxes that are super cheap now. If you're scared to wire up a load center with the breakers and the outlets, you can just buy one of these and throw it on there in seconds. Or you could have a critical loads panel for your house and have a transfer switch. So you can connect this or a generator or whatever you wish. It will be legal and it will be safe. Now get this, the battery behind me, the EG4 Outdoor rated this one, is 14 kilowatt hours, right? and it sells for $3,999. With this, you get a whole system, solar charge controller and inverter, and you get a larger battery. You get 16 kilowatt hours. So the price difference now is just getting ridiculous. Like this thing used to be a bargain, right? But now you can buy a whole system for the same price. And this is good stuff. This is using a JK BMS. This is made by SRNE. So this is not like cheap junk. This is actually good stuff made by a good manufacturer. And yesterday, this thing hit a megawatt hour. So if I take two of these and put it into a box, I get one of these. These are made by the same manufacturer. Also, just because it says Sungold Power doesn't tell you much. Different distributors sell this exact same unit, so you don't have to stick with a single brand. What matters most is who manufactured it. Also, I added the outlet box. So I reviewed this yesterday because they upgraded the wiring and it's actually safe to use. And guess what? You can wire this whole system up in like an hour. Same with this system. You just slap this thing on the wall, you put the battery on the ground below it and you have a system. This hand truck system is pretty sweet because I had put 10 kilowatt hours of batteries down below and it can handle 5,000 watts of solar and I connected this to my solar carport. So these are quite capable systems. Also, if you need more batteries, you could buy like three of these. You'd have over 45 kilowatt hours of storage and that would be $5,700 for more than half the capacity of a Tesla but with a chemistry that would last a lot longer. Also, you only have a few cables here. You have a $30 disconnect switch, positive and negative, and then you have some cables, positive and negative, and then the AC output. You can connect it to this or a load panel or an outlet box. Recently, I did a video on the payback period with that EG4 system, and it was only a few years, and at most, 10 years. It all depends on where you live. But if you build something like this, this is gonna pay for itself in like a year or two. This is so incredibly cheap and in how much it can produce with a small, cheap off-grid solar array that this could benefit a lot of people. You don't even have to run your panel. You could run one air conditioner with this system with some panels on the ground or whatever you need. Or you could have as a backup system for disaster relief if the grid were to go down. You could run a refrigerator, a furnace, or whatever the essentials are for your family. But just to think this entire system is cheaper than a budget battery a couple years ago is nuts. That is wild. I'm surprised those other batteries haven't dropped in price. I would expect the EG Force to keep dropping like everything else, but they're not. Now, if you have something better for cheaper, please let me know. SRNE, JKBMS, and Good Cells, this is like the best bang for buck I could find. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just blown away by this price and I'm looking at this and I'm like, what the heck, man? This is incredibly cheap. I thought it was cheap last year. This is just crazy. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.